Would you like to hear a poem I wrote? So this one I wrote when I was 19, mm -hmm. and it's called Inside. Um, and a lot of my poems and songs are about dreaming because I have lots of really amazing spiritual dreams. So a lot of my poems are about dreaming and about, you know, kind of the relationship of being in this world and being in the invisible world. Mm -hmm. So in this dream, in this song, I'm talking about a dream. Between two worlds I drift, black of night and gray of dawn, dangling by a thread from a dream that lingers on. Lingers, then retreats behind the filmy screen. Awakened now, I see my mind prefers this shadowy dream. But oh, how spacious the land of the soul that lies on the other side. How sweet the memory of freedom that starts when I close my eyes. How much we forget when the morning arrives and how much weight we gain. How much the very flesh hides of the night from whence we came. And what a mess my world can be when I wake and forget the soul and tend to the obvious and illusory with no source, direction, or goal. Listen to me now. You who would follow your way to the greatest boon. Play your games as long as you like. Turn inward later or soon. What it costs you and how long it takes depends on your pride and how hard you ache. When the world lets you down, where will you go? Turn to the only reality you know inside. Hanyang Hateyo. My name is Russell. I live in the camper full time. I'm going to give myself one year. I've been on the road for about a month and I bought this camper for $700 and completely tore everything out on the inside and rebuilt it. I've got about $4,500 investment, including solar and a new refrigerator. I had the truck already and I just love the freedom of being on the road and meeting new people and I put the solar panel on uh, it's, a, it's a 260 watt solar panel I have two deep cell batteries mm. and uh, a pure sine wave inverter which gives me grid quality electricity so that it's not dirty electricity, which is not good for electronics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put this, I put this uh, horizontal tank. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it just had a little tank, so I put this one. It, it this one lays down, so it's a twenty-pound, yeah. uh, five-gallon tank um, that runs my refrigerator and my heater and my stove. This is my shower. You pump it up here. Mm -hmm. So I have a hula hoop yeah. that goes up here and a shower curtain. Mm -hmm. And then I then I spray uh, I boil okay. uh, a thing of water, mm -hmm. put warm water in here, and I have a hot shower. That's nice. Home Depot, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, yeah. Nineteen eighty eight. Uh, it's a pop up. So mm -hmm. this canvas, when I bought it, the canvas was in really good shape. So uh, you have to spray these the canvas with this mm -hmm. vinyl conditioner so it keeps the vinyl supple so it doesn't crack, especially in cold weather. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the, you know, the, the uh, direct sunlight too can break it down over time. But mm -hmm. uh, if you spray this three or four times a year, you just wipe it on and wipe it off. And it's lasted since 1988. This is the mm -hmm. original canvas on this I stay very warm I have a down comforter mm. so I, I it's very uh, mm. it's very comfortable in there because I have two heaters I have I have the, the camper heater mm -hmm. which runs on propane and then the uh, solar operates a fan to blow the heat into the room and then I also have the mr. buddy mm -hmm. So this is my backup heater, and I hook this up to 
uh, get a hose. See the hose? Yeah. And it runs on that tank. I made this. This is my handle. It's a grab bar. Wow. This is this is from the land. This is cedar from my land in Colorado, where I where I was living. I took wow. all the bark off and then sanded it. And you can see the the core uh -huh. is it, that's actually when you first cut it, it's red. Yeah, it's it's reddish purple. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the same wood in here. Yeah, this countertop. Yeah, and this yeah. is the natural this... bark. This is the natural edge. Mm -hmm. So I this was what I cut. Right off the land, I had I had some logs about this long, mm. about this big around, mm. and I squared them off, and then I ripped them, and mm. made made planks, and then glued them together and made the countertop. Wow! There's any gaps? Wow! You have good skill, really. Yes. Wow. Yes. You use, you use a jointer, and you get this mm -hmm. straight, and yeah. then you just glue all these boards together yeah. with a clamp. You made it all by yourself. I made it, made it all this by myself. Wow. Yeah. You lock it. You can't, wow. you can't pull it open. You have to push it, and then you can open it. So that way, it awesome. doesn't open when you're driving. Awesome, the awesome. Same with this one. Yeah. Then, this one. Very nice. When I'm driving, mm -hmm. I put, the, put it in there, uh -huh. and then this can't open. Wow. So awesome, wow. And smooth. Mm. Now here's my controller. Uh huh. And here's my inverter. Yeah. Pew side. And then here is my pump. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good. And if I don't have electricity, mm -hmm. I can use the hand pump. Wow. So either way, you can use the pump. Yeah. Good. It's and cool. then here's my batteries, mm -hmm. my two uh, AGM batteries, mm -hmm. 12 volt, yeah, 105 amp hours. So together it's 100 amp hours. Mm. And then I use the charger. Now I can plug this charger in, and when I'm when I'm running my truck, when I'm driving, mm -hmm. the doors all folding. Mm -hmm. See. Yeah. Why you made all the doors because folding? Because I didn't want, see, if oh. they were, one, you know, I didn't want doors like this because then it's blocking the, the walkway. Mm -hmm. So this way, none of the doors, see, instead of it blocking the walkway, see, now we can walk. <laughs> wow, so clever idea. <laughs> Very nice. Here's another, another feature. So here's mm. Mm. my deep storage, yeah. and I have a 25-gallon water tank underneath mm. here. And then mm. these come out, see, that comes out. So that's my 25-gallon water tank, wow. and I have an extra stove. If mm. I want to cook outside, mm -hmm. I can just take it outside and cook. Yeah. And then this is a table. Mm -hmm. So this table comes up. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it comes out, and it comes up here. Mm -hmm. So this can be like a a, a kitchen seating, mm -hmm. you know, for people to eat. Yeah. But I usually yeah. leave it down like this, so I can. Yeah. It's like it's, a lounger. Yeah, it's yeah. just a it's nice, lounger. comfortable mm. lounge. And then uh, this is where I do my beadwork. Let's see. This is. Wow. These are my beads. Look at this. Is it butterfly? Yeah. Here's my beads. My different wow. beads. Why there are so many beads? Is it your hobby or for the living? It's, it's a for hobby the living? and I hope to sell some pieces. And this is the four directions of the Native American. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this is, this is called a Zia. From Zuni. Zuni is a tribe in, in New Mexico. And then here's another one I'm working on. This is Our Lady of Guadalupe, mm -hmm. um, Mother Mary. Yeah. And it has a lapis on the back. Mm -hmm. So this one's not done. And then this is this is I call this one Christos. This is a this is walrus ivory. When did you learn 
these things. Oh, last couple of years. This has been, this was a hobby. I would do this while I was waiting because I do massage. And and when I was at the store and I would do massage while I was waiting for people, I would just, I would just do my beadwork. You do many things. Carpentry and massage and, massage. and bead. And then all this comes down uh -huh. to this level when I'm driving. Yeah. This just comes down. So I pull these mm. down. That's and it? Everything comes down. Mm. Just simple. Mm -hmm. mm. And see, this is my water filter. So I put water in the top here and it mm. has, it has a... Uh, mm. It has two ceramic filters up here mm -hmm. and, and then two fluoride filters down here oh. and it's gravity fed so it filters out any live pathogens wow. so I can actually get water from a stream mm. or a pond or a, a lake and run it through here and it's perfectly safe and see this these filters but, will last mm. 10 years oh. they're really good you just mm. rinse them out mm. I was right. born in Nebraska and um, I've lived in Colorado since I was 10 years old and uh, last five years I was living in Santa Fe and in parts of Colorado mm -hmm. and uh, I set out about a month ago and um, I, I worked on this camper from September mm -hmm. four months took me to build all this mm -hmm. and, I ended my relationship with my girlfriend. We were together six years, mm -hmm. and uh, that ended. And I didn't want to go rent someplace because I would have had to go back to work because I, you know, I'm on Social Security. Mm -hmm. So Social Security is enough for me to live this lifestyle. But if I'm paying rent, mm -hmm. then I have to go back to work, and I didn't want to go back to work anymore. Mm -hmm. My obligations and responsibilities are done. So this is this is time for me. Freedom to yeah. come and go as I, and, and see people in places that I have always wanted to see. First time I've ever done this uh, in any yeah. length of time. Okay, so you like it? So far. Take off.